Hello everyone. How are you doing today? I am taping in Alabama today. Yes, I'm taping in Alabama today and I wanted to just do a little snippet of what's been going on in Alabama. So, um, I need my undivided attention. Trying to brighten up. There we go. Brighten it up a little bit. So here we go. So, um, yeah. Let me. Can't get it out the sky. Oh well. Don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway. So, um, um, it, this is your girl, Lady K. Yes, I am made up today. Got a little makeup on, and I um. Uh, Went out today with my sister. Had a pretty good time today. I kind of post some things on Facebook. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But anyway, um, yeah, this is your girl, Lady K. Uh, Lady K. <laughs> but um, I um, wanted to update you on what's been going on with me. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we're going to start with exercise because that's always what I start with, y'all. Just give you an update on reality. The living in reality in the real living in the real and that's how i'm gonna start my thing of living in the real you must be true to yourself be true to your your livelihood be true to what you do be don't hide anything be truthful you know i know the truth hurts sometimes i know the truth sometimes expose you to a whole lot of humiliation a lot of people don't know how to respond to you being real but live in reality live in live in the real live in the real L I R. Live in real. Live in the real. Live in the reality. Live in the real. R I L. Live in it. But anyway, here we go. Exercise. So, y'all, I've been doing exercise. I can actually stand up and let y'all see. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do it, y'all. And what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna try to post is some of my exercises that I do. Y'all, I be trying to work my butt off, really. And then I talk to my coach cousin. That's a, he's my cousin, but he's my coach too. And I really look up to him. Um, shout out to my cousin. Uh, he told me that I was I, I was killing my diet, killing my lifestyle because I was eating too much fat, eating too much sugar, eating too much salt. Well, my carb intake is great. It's under 200 grams a day, which is awesome. The sugar, y'all, you got to maintain that sugar under 30 grams. That's hard. Y'all, I ate, I ate an apple today. The apple had 13.5 grams of sugar. Can you believe that? 13 grams? I can believe that myself. So I was like, what the heck? Oh, my God. Why am I eating 13.5 grams out of a good apple? That ain't good at all. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? So he said he's going to work with me on Monday and give me some avenues of how to get in the, the, the good fit for my diet. I'm still dealing with the bum knee. So I'm trying to do some exercises, try to do more. You know, he told me to do an hour, so doing 30 minutes. Well, hey. 30 minutes was kicking my butt. So, I'm trying to boost it up to an hour. I did 40, 47 minutes today, I want to say. But then I walked the block while I was waiting on going to the restaurant. So, hey, that eats out an hour, huh? <laughs> we never know. But nevertheless, I got up to 8,000 of steps today. I probably got eight more than that. Oh, uh, yeah, I got 8,815 as of right now. <sighs> That's pretty good though. I'm trying to work my way up. I'm trying to do better, y'all. I really am. Drinking my water. Here we go. My water. As I told to you all, I'm drinking that water. Also, I'm trying to stop drinking water after 7 o'clock. Because, you know, after 7 o'clock, girl be going to the bathroom. Y'all don't know how this. You be getting that good sleep all of a sudden. You, you dream about you swimming. Or you dream about you actually sitting on the toilet and you in the bed. Don't sit there and lie and say you ain't never felt that way. Some of y'all probably already pissed in the bed. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> Nevertheless, I try to cut my water off at 7 o'clock because I don't want to have a pissy bed. I don't want to pee in the bed. Pee, pee pee in the bed. You pee pee in the bed. No, I don't want to do that. No. Nah, uh, uh, uh. I don't want to do that. So, uh, I cut the water off at 7 o'clock. I started at 8, cut it off at 7. 
and I try to finish eating by seven. So I won't have no reason to swallow anything. Anything that's water or food. Cut it off. So nevertheless, um, I have my exercise done by six in the afternoons. I go work out with my cousin five to six. So I'm trying to have all my exercise done by six. So that way that'll be after like the full hour that he wants me to do. I'm gonna try to walk by 45 minutes and then exercise with him. Well no, walk about 30 minutes because I'll exercise with him but an hour. <sighs> That's enough. Jesus. Anyway. Um but I still got the bum knee I'm trying to get the knee fixed. Um I burnt myself. It's getting better y'all. Last week, I told you I burnt myself trying to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Not trying. It came out successful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You girl did good. But, yeah. It's getting better. Uh, but, yeah. I'm trying to uh, get myself together on my weight. My goal is to uh, be healthy. That's number one. Be healthy. Number two. Get some of this fine and stand a little bit. I'm going to get a girl to work up. I'm going to get myself together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's being healthy. Um, but he's going to help me with my diet. That's my main, I think my main fault is eating. You have to eat right. 30 grams, like I said, with sugar. Um, 30 grams or less. 25, 30 grams a day. Because your body runs off that, okay? And then for your fats, you want to do 44 grams or less. 44 grams or less. Which is hard too, because like when you eat that meat, you know, that protein. Why? It got a lot of fat in it. You got to be careful. Eating that lean meat. You know, lean meat, turkey, and, and tuna, and fish, you know, your lean chicken. You know, I don't eat beef or pork, so I'm good on that. But that, you, you got to be careful with your chicken, you know. And if you're, you know, if you're no like me, you're in the South, you're eating that church's chicken. Get off it. You're eating Southern classes. Shout out to Louisiana. Get off it. It's going to kill you. Cholesterol's going to kill you. <laughs> but I'm trying to watch it. I'm trying to watch it. Thank God I'm a, I'm a leg and wing person. Not too much in the thighs. I almost threw up when I said that. I'm not too much in the thighs. And I hate boiled chicken. Oh my God, I hate boiled chicken. It's nasty. It's nasty. Um, I try to bake my chicken on, on a grill. On a, on a thing. Air fry. No grease. Uh, no oils, I should say. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't fry. I don't fry it. I hate the smell. And uh, a barbecue, barbecue chicken. I do that, but I don't like the I don't like the barbecue sauce. I just I say grilled chicken then. Cause when you say barbecue chicken, you think about the barbecue sauce. So grilled chicken, grilled chicken, baked chicken up on the on the thing, uh, a grill uh, rack, and then um, air fried chicken. So there we go. So uh, yeah, that's it. And then um. Yeah, watch your fats, 44 grams. Watch your sugars. I'm trying to stay on course, y'all. Uh, 25 to 30 grams of sugar, and then your carbs be under 200 per meal. So if you're eating six times, uh, that gives you six times 200, which is 1,200 calories. And you give yourself some elbow room, which is like, I eat 14, 1,400 calories a day. You would think your girl be clean slam all huh, by now. I need exercise to go with it. It is bothering me because I can't get it in. And it's bothering me because I can't get those sugar points down. I can't get that salt. Oh, I forgot about one more thing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So, you want to eat less than, you want to eat between 15 to 2,000 uh, grams of salt. I, me personally, I don't like salt like that. I like to, to bag up the salt. So, I'm, I'm doing pretty good with the salt too. So, But anyway, my killer is that fat and that sugar. Oh, you gotta be careful. I thought I was doing right eating the navy bean tortilla rolls and adding that uh, brown rice and the quinoa. Well, I guess I said it right. Q U I N O A. Quinoa. Queen, uh, mm -mm. Girl ain't lost a pound. Ugh. All that exercise ain't lost a pound. Yeah, so you be careful with it. We gonna, but my cousin gonna help me, and I'm gonna come back and tell y'all a little bit about it, okay? And we're gonna see if I lost a couple pounds. You can throw a seed in my face when I come back. Let me know. Comment. Let me know. All right. Let's mosey on over to the love life. <sighs> me and Jesus had a long talk today. And I 
got some things I got to work on. I do. I really got some things I need to work on. And it involves me and him. It has nothing to do with my best friend. It has nothing to do with Joseph. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It's just strictly me and him. And when I tell you he dealt with me this morning in a long conversation about me getting myself together because I really need to know him a little bit more. I know him. I love him. But it's some issues that he wants me to get a little closer to him to deal with. And I'll just share y'all as we go along with it. Because, hey, I'm transparent. This is a transparent blog. And I'm real. Because I'm living life in reality. Um, I got an anger issue with love. I got an anger issue with dealing with the opposite sex. And the opposite, opposite, opposite sex. Dealing with love. I look for it in, in, in a certain way. I live a certain way. I'm not sex and nobody. Ain't nobody getting the goods. Nobody. So that's not the issue. You would think, oh, she's just tripping because she ain't, you know, he's sexing her down. And, mm -mm. Or you would say, well, that's why she acting away because she ain't getting no sex. Mm -mm. I don't need it. I, I mean, as a woman, you need it. But God is God is dealing with me where I, I don't have the desire. Uh, and when it when that desire does come, I know how to how to get myself in a position to pray, so that desire can not really disappear, but it's it's managed. Uh, but I got I got to get that anger, that madness, a diary of a mad black woman. I'm dealing with that. Tyler Perry, thank you. Because when you wrote that movie, you must be thinking about me in the future. You must solve my future. Because I'm really, y'all, is in, have underlying anger issues. Dealing with the fact that love has dealt a bad card in my, in my life. And God said for me to talk to him about it. To have a conversation like counsel with him. A counsel of the most high God. Yeah, that's what I need to be with him. And talk about that because people can tell you how they dealt with it and how they deal with things. And and uh, I discussed my case with a couple of lawyers, legal aides. And they were like, they've never heard of the situation that I'm in. They never heard of it in their life. Where you had a, a husband to cheat on you and give you an ultimatum to choose him or God. And when you choose God, he dog you out. And you didn't know that he was cheating on you until he's in a state of irreversible, an irreversible state, health state. And that's when you found out that he was cheating. Not with just one woman, but he was cheating with three women. And after you sat there and cried your eyes out and been manipulated and abused by his parents, his parent and his fa family, I should say, his immediate family, and you still, you took all that to later deal with the fact that he cheated. And you take it and you ball it up and you tell the oldest kids you know you don't mess with the baby don't mess with the baby because the baby doing good in school he doing excellent and I, and I love all my kids I do I love them all and I don't I don't I don't separate his kids from my kids I, they are my kids I love them all and I told the two oldest ones what's what happened and of course you know they were like mom <laughs> don't kill dad don't kill him just pray about it you know get up you know and deal with it don't kill dad. I'm not going to kill him because his, his, be his blood ain't going to be in my hand. That's the devil. I let the Lord deal with him. But I'm upset. And um, 
It's I thought I forgave him. Well, I know I forgave him. I know I did. Because I, I, I moved on from that anger. But it's, it's something in her line. Not just dealing with him, but dealing with love, period. And I have to talk to God about that. And when I when I get to talking to God and he give me uh, revelation about it, I will come back and let y'all know. I will. I'll let y'all know how uh, things are panning out about that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm living life. I'm enjoying life. And I'm allowing God to lead me in, in a way that he can honestly see the, the flower blossom, the rose open, and have sweet fragrance. Fragrant, fragrance <laughs> come from it. Y'all see how I want to with no words. Because, you know, you need to work on how to say things. You know what I mean? Nevertheless, it's getting great. It's been, it's great. It's great going. The the love life is going well. God is dealing with me. I'm I'm in a zone with God with that. You know, no more dealing with individuals and this and that. God said, I need you to do with me. Deal with me. I'm just with me, me and God. Not just me and God. On that level. Uh, last but not least. Ta da! The music. Yes, Lady K. Yes, Lady K. I got a chance to meet the mayor, y'all, of Bourbon, Alabama. Uh, Mr. Woodrin. Uh, he was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. And I enjoyed eating with him and talking with him and joking with him. God, he is so smooth. That that cat is so smooth. When I tell you he's smooth. And I tell smooth like, you know, talk me trying to get with you. He just laid back. He's more like a Denzel Washington type of you know, just smooth. He just smooth. Rawr. He's smooth. He really is. He's smooth. And I love it because he's laid back and he's he's a reader. He reminded me of my son. He's a reader and he, he's very intelligent, you know. And I, and I like that. I'm, I'm going to actually reach out to him on Facebook and just let him know that I just, I love his character. I do. Yeah, I love his character. A lot of things are happening in Alabama where I'm able to, to uh, network with some people and get to know some people. And hopefully that the, the doors will uh, swing off the hinges and I'll be able to do more and expound more from Alabama to Georgia and from Georgia back to Florida. Shouts out to Florida. Be back soon. And then just right on up to the uh, upper states all the way to New York. Make sure I have my mask on. <laughs> But, uh, and then no, go west to California. Hey, this is the sky's the limit. The well, let me back that up. The sky is not the limit. Above the sky, beyond the sky is the limit. In fact, there's no limit. There's no limit in God. I got a song like that called No Limit. You need to go Google it. Um, on www.ladykatrinaministries.com. One touch away. I love the advertisement. <laughs> But yes, um, look to you. Look to you. Video will be released on December the 25th at 12 a.m. Yes, it will be released 12 a.m. And it will hit the YouTube page on that day. Oh my God. I am excited about Look to You. Oh my goodness. I am, I think I'm going to do a live uh, uh, video show showing that video and then I'm going to have everybody just go and just hit it, just like it, comment let's make that thing hit 1k in the day that it's released let's get that 1k up there and let's make it skyrocket on Christmas day yes, let's do that y'all come on and help me hit that 1k December 25th on Christmas that video will be released on that day and I'm excited so excited hey i'm looking to hit i'm looking to hit more than just 1k and by new year's i'm looking to hit greater than that on that particular day uh looking for look to you to be released on december 25th i'm excited and of course all my other music as well is there um uh, we're getting ready to work on one of my uh, songs that I wrote for my me and my sisters when I older group, Ruit Ryu, Ella Relatives in Unity, and it's called Who's on the Lord's Side, and that's kind of like a little jazzy beat, and it's gonna have uh, it, it's gonna uh, a debut uh, 2021 
midsummer. And um, by that time, my other music should be dropped by then too as well. So a lot of things are going to be happening in 2021. I'm excited about it. Well, look for me. Look for me out there. I got a lot of uh, things in the pot that's boiling, and I can't let everything out at one time. And as it comes closer to the uh, end or the deadline or the finalization of each thing, I'll be releasing it to you all on here. So y'all be praying for me, praying with me and keep me lifted. And don't forget to go to my YouTube page, subscribe, comment and like. Also go to my uh, website and also subscribe like and grab some of my itemized items on there my pins and my t-shirts and my cups also uh you gotta faith it till you make it get my t-shirt faith it till you make it and then get my music as well i'm really ready to excited about the new releases that are being released going to be released in 2021 so i'm um, y'all be lifting me up Continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Remember to live life in liberty. Advance in your adventures and the D is be direct in your destiny. And the I is be intelligent to the ignorant. Last but not least, the K is to conquer your kingdom. I am your girl, Lady K. Remember to go to www.ladywithiKatrinaMinistries.com for the website and follow me on all social medias. I would love to see your comments and your reviews of this broadcast, this blog. Until the next time in between time, I say peace, love, and Jesus in your life. Remember to keep that smile on your face. You never know whose life you may change along the way. Until the next time, peaches.